All right, so in this video, we'll build a potential solution to the guessing game mini project. If you were able to get that without too much difficulty, you may not wanna watch the entire video. You could skip to the end. Um, and I do have some, some notes on uh, potential ways of structuring this that are better than others. It's, it's opinion, but uh, you may wanna take a look or you can just look at my solution code. And if you struggled with it, you may want to watch most of this video, if not the whole thing. Uh, I'll walk through it step by step. Let's head over to the starter code. And the first thing we have here, the random number, uh, the, the code to generate the random numbers from one to 10. I won't go into much detail at all, um, but basically it gives us a number from one to 10. So let's just make sure of that. Let's try running this. I get seven, 10, and you can trust, oh, there we go, included one and 10 as well. So it is inclusive, drives me insane. Ranges are exclusive, rand int is inclusive. I don't know why. So now that we have a number picked, really our logic that we need to happen is we need to check is the guess, well, we need to get a user guess first. So that's gonna be the easiest part. We'll do guess equals input. And then we'll just say, pick a number from one to 10 and a lot of space, just so it's a little easier for the user to tell. And after that, our logic is really to check if they guessed correct. So if random number and guess are the same or is guess less than random number, we tell them too low. If guess is greater, we'll tell them too high. So it's just a simple conditional statement that we can add in. So let's just do, uh, let's not even worry about the loop and getting things to repeat. Let's just start off with the if guess equals equals the random number exactly. We'll print, you got it. Elif, if guess is less than random number, we'll print too low. And finally, we can just do an else because there's no other option we'll print too high. So this should work one time through, but there's a problem which you hopefully are getting more accustomed to this. Uh, we have a type issue. So if I run this, it asks me to pick a number, I'll type three, and it says less than the operator is not supported between strings and ints. So this is still a string. So I need to convert guess to an int. So I'll just do int guess. And now let's actually at the end, let's print what guess or uh, excuse me, random number is so we can tell if our logic is correct. So I'm going to pick five and it tells me too high and the number was supposed to be four. Let's do, I'll pick one. It tells me too low. It was supposed to be three. And who knows? Let's see if I can actually get one right. Probably not, but we'll trust that our logic works if I do guess correctly. Okay, I won't waste time with that. Um, so we're getting too low correct and too high when we're supposed to. So now what we need to happen is we wanna repeat this process. And when do we wanna repeat it? How long do we wanna repeat it? We wanna keep going until guess is equal to random number. So that's uh, gonna lend itself to a while loop. We could, I guess you could use a for loop, although it, w it wouldn't really work because while technically we could assume that a user only needs a maximum of 10 guesses. So we could loop through with a for loop 10 times and then break out when they get it right. But uh, that, that, I don't know, a user could forget something or be distracted and guess the same number multiple times, in which case they would potentially make more than 10 guesses. So a for loop is not the best option. Also uh, with a for loop, if we wanted to suddenly expand our game to go from one to 100, we would also have to not only change the random number, but change the for loop itself. So a while loop is much better. When we don't know how many times something will run, a while loop is always better. So what we'll do is we'll run this while guess is not equal to random number. We'll keep going and we can get rid of this. And the first thing we'll do is while the guess is not equal to the random number, we're gonna ask them for a new guess. And we'll check if guess, let me indent everything. If guess is less than the random number, we'll print too low. We'll do an elif guess 
is greater than random number. So I'm switching things up just a little bit. We'll print too high. And then we'll do an else and we'll print u1. There's a problem here, which uh, maybe you have spotted, which is the very first time we run this, guess is undefined. So we, I moved the code into the loop because we want to continually ask every time inside the loop for a new guess. Uh, but that leaves, I, I copied it or I cut it out from up top. So the first time guess doesn't exist, and it's going to try and compare something that doesn't exist to a random number. So that's going to be a problem. I'll show you the error we get. There we go. Invalid. Oh, no, that's not the same error. That's because I forgot my lovely colons. There we go. Now we should get the error I'm expecting. Here we go. Guess is not defined. So what we could do is just start by setting guess equal to an empty string or something or to none. And if I do it now, pick a number from 1 to 10. Let's go with 5. Too high. Okay, how about 1? Oh, I guessed it. And you can see afterwards it tells us the, the number was 1. We still have this print at the bottom. Let's do one more. Let's pick five again. Ah, oh, I got it right off the bat. Five, too high. Let's go with one, too low, three, I won. Cool. So that's the basics of the guessing game, actually. This is the simplest possible solution we could do uh, where we're repeating things and the game runs one time. So as soon as we win, it's over. So the last thing I'll show is a version where the game keeps going, or it asks the user, do you want to keep playing? And they type Y or N or yes or no or something like that. So what I'll do is actually make a new file. I'll just call it guessing v2. And I'll duplicate my code over there. But there's a couple changes I'm going to make. And the first thing I'm going to do is change this actually quite a bit. I'm going to do a while true. So this will loop forever. But then what we'll do is in this else here, where the user won, or where they win the game, um, it won't break out of the loop yet, but I'm going to ask the user. So let's call it a variable called play again equals input. And, oops, what am I doing as a string? Input, do you want to play again? And then we'll do, this is kind of standard to see in terminal, y slash n, and I just type y or n and hit enter and then we'll just add a conditional if play again don't need those parentheses although they won't hurt if it equals y if that's the case what are we going to do we're going to generate a new number so this line right here okay and we'll set user guess or in our case guess to be none again Otherwise, that means they typed an N or anything else technically. What will we do? We're going to quit. So we can print, thank you for playing. And then break. And that's it. So let's see if it works. Make sure I included all the colons that I needed this time for our if and our else. Okay, let's see what happens. Python 3. Guessing v2. Oh, I thought I checked for those colons. This is, uh, that's pretty bad. I apologize. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so picks number. Let's go with five again. It says I won right away. Do I want to play again? Yes. Picks another number. Let's do five again. This time I'm too low. How about nine? Too high. Eight? Too high. Seven? Too high. So it must be six. And I won. Do I want to play again? One more time. Pick a number from 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I won. This time I'm done playing. And I'm out. Cool. So one small change we could make. We no longer have to initialize guess up here because our while loop is not depending on guess anymore like it was over here because this is just a while true. It keeps going forever until it hits this break. So the difference is that this is going to play as many games as the user wants. This one plays one game, so it loops through until they guess it right. This one loops forever until we quit. And that's it for our guessing game.
So next up, we're going to take our rock, paper, scissors game and make it, I think, a lot better. Similar idea, we're going to make the game repeat um, and we'll actually have a winner and a loser. We'll keep score. You'll be able to play against the computer rather than just playing one time and having it end. You'll be able to know who gets two out of three or who wins the first to five or whatever it is. So it's a lot better in my opinion. Um, so that's coming up next.